I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will explore square root of multiples of 10. Now we will extend our learnings from this video to find square root of multiples of any number. In the following videos we will take up numbers like 2, 3, 5 and so on. I hope this will help you to understand the concept better. Now whenever we are trying to find square root, for example let's start with square root of 100. So if I say what is square root of 100, then it means 100 could be written as 10 times 10, that is 100. Now square root is one of the two numbers, one of the same two numbers which multiplied by itself, right? So that gives us 10 as our answer, right? Working with 10s and its multiples is kind of simple, right? Now if I say what is square root of 100 times 100, right? Now 100 times 100 means that square root should be one of those hundreds, right? So the answer is 100, correct? Now as you can see here, 100 times 100 can be written as 10 to the power of 4. So what is the square root of 10 to the power of 4? It is 100 or square root is always half the power. So if it is 10 to the power of 4, then the answer is 10 to the power of half of 4. And what is half of 4? Half of 4 is 2. So it is 10 square, which is 100, correct? Let's do once again the similar kind of exercise. What is square root of 10 to the power of 6? Now, 10 to the power of 6 basically means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros, right? Now, when you do square root, it means 1000 times 1000, right? It means 1000 times 1000, correct? So I could write this as 1000 times 1000, right, which is indeed 1000, right? Or I could have written from here directly, what is half of 6? Half of 6 is 3. So we get 10 to the power of 3 as our answer. So what we have learned here is that square root of any number, let's say any number is there, then it is basically power of that number should be half, correct? That is what we have learned, right? So, let's extend this to tens first. What is 10 to the power of 10 square root equals to? Half of 10 is 5, so the answer should be 10 to the power of 5. Now, what is 10 to the power of 12? Square root equals to half of 12 is 6, so the answer is 10 to the power of 6, which is 1 million, right? Now, it is not necessary that you'll always get whole number as your answer. Now, let's try with 1000, right? So, what is square root of 1000? One more zero. Now, 1000, as you know, is 10 to the power of 3 or 10 times 10 times 10. Now, if I do square root of 1000, I can see two factors of 10. So, one of them can be brought outside square root but 1 still remains inside. So our answer is 10, square root of 10. Do you understand? So that is 1 and a half power, right? So half of 3 is 1 and a half. So 1 and half. Do you get the point, right? So extending this, if I say 10 to the power of 5, what is the square root of that? Half of 5 is 2 and a half. 2 full, that means 10 square and one still remains inside. So that is how you can write down your answer. Do you get the point? Let's try it. This time, as an exercise, try to do square root of 10 to the power of 7. 10 to the power 7. What is half of 7? 3 and a half, right? So 3 comes outside and half remains like this. So that is how you can find square root of multiples of 10 for that matter, square root of any number when given in exponent form. So in general, if I have 10 to the power of, uh, let us say n as a number, and square root, then what is the answer? The answer should be 10 to the power of n divided by 2, right? So that is how we find square root when we are given a number in exponent form, right? So can I extend this in general? Yes, I can. If I have 
e to the power of n and if I have to find square root of this then the answer should be a to the power of n divided by 2 right so that should be the answer for square root of any number which is given in exponent form as a power right I hope that helps we'll give we'll do similar questions with base as 2 3 and 5 and then move on with all other numbers I hope that will help you to understand the concept on square root thank you and all the best